Show the brother to me. Oh, fine, Davis. Brother Ben. Yeah. I'm wearing a new African made top. Now, this is important to me. Now, as you know, you see, I, I, wear, I wear fairies, African made tops. I also have a, a stuff I get from the States, like, like my shelter gear. You know, and also, I, I got, you know, some, some shirts I wear, like I have that, that, that Pokemon thing I got from Nigeria. It's just regular, what those, golf tee, golf, whatever shirts, you know, that the, the business people wear when they want to be casual. I also have one from Swaziland that I like to wear with the pocket of Swaziland. But I generally like to wear, um, you know, things that are culturally oriented. Now you say, well, well but you're American. Well, yeah, I have some American stuff that I wear, of course, of course. Because let's think about it, you know, you have, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Economics, you know, yeah, politics, and you have culture. Well, cultural, social, and I put culture and social in the same thing. So, what I try to say is stay grounded in a cultural thing, but not understand. I'm not talking about the, you know, the, the grand, well, I do have some, some really formal African stuff that I never wear and several formal things, but the point is this, you know, economically, you got to support Africa. Or well, let's, let's say Africans that are making stuff from African fabric, let's put it that way. If we get the fabric from, you know, a cut off from, you know, just to name a country or two, you know, like Vietnam or Indonesia or China, when it gets printed in, well, it's not authentically African, and that money goes to Vietnam or Indonesia or China or wherever it's going to, you know, England, wherever it's going to. But if you get the fabric from, say, you know, Ghana or, or Nigeria or wherever, you know, that's, that means you're giving some money to, you know, so it's not African. Now, the person making it up, for instance, my woman, then, you know, you're giving money, you know, to an African. Well, that's your economics. And then culturally, of course, you know, you, that vibe, you know, they're putting that love in it, you know, that, that, that African love in it, you see, like, like that. So culturally, you know, socially, you know, economically, and of course, everything is political, so let's, let's just say that. But also, let's just think about that. Don't you want to support your own growth? I'm not, I'm not talking about people, forget all that Your own growth of your, your, your autochthonous land. Why you don't keep on taking your, let the minerals go to someplace else where they, they do what they do with the minerals and they come back as guns or whatever comes back at, you know? Well, we should take our mine our own minerals, mine our own chocolates, mine our own fabric, and make stuff for ourselves. And if other people want what we're making, remember, we're in Africa and we're not making those other kind of stuff that's really bad, you know? What will happen, you'll get African humanity spread around the world. Instead of the world taking our stuff, taking it someplace else, making it inhumane thing, selling it back to us so we can do inhumane things. But you see, you see where I'm going with this? It's a cycle. Now we got to get into a different cyclone. I like that word cyclone. A lot of motion with that, you know, a lot of upheaval. Like, think about it, you know? Even if we could say something like Coltan, now I'm going off a little bit, Coltan from you know, the DRC, you know, you know, cell phones, satellites, all that stuff made with Coltan. Well, hey, if we say, hey, you know, we're only gonna sell this Coltan to you if you don't stop, you stop making it. You can't make, you can't make drones with this Coltan. Hey, that's a political statement. Let's think about it. Is it? Anyway, my point only is, that I think that we need to, I'm not talking about you know, style or whatever, but everything that we do needs to be grounded, grounded in our economic, social, cultural, and by extension everything is political, uh, point of view, um, milieu. Milieu is not a big word I like to use. Anyway, that's what I'm saying. Anyway, this way, look, this has been one of those dispatches from the Arts Director of Murders. Uh, that would be me, T, from the Patterson taking a train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. Mm -hmm.